Detroit Den 313, welcome back to another Detroit Lions episode, your go-to source for Detroit Lions content. Um, today is Friday. It is almost the weekend. It's been a scorching hot week. I don't know where you guys are from, but it's been miserably hot um, in my in the town where I live. I hope you guys are staying safe, staying hydrated, getting ready for the weekend. Um, I got a question, kind of a, a hot topic, I guess, because... Detroit Lions training camp starts in less than a month on July 20th is when the rookie was report. Uh, the 23rd is when the vets report. So we're less than a month away from real football. Now I know real football starts. Like some people say in March when the salary cap resets and you could sign free agents. But for me personally, when there's competition on the field that starts in training camp, that's when the NFL season starts for me. So less than a month away, rookies on the 20th uh, vets on the 23rd. And I was just sitting around thinking, who has the most to gain from training camp preseason before the season starts? I'm going to do an offensive player today. And if you guys don't absolutely kill me and murder me in my front yard, I'm going to do a defensive player later tonight. But offensively, I'm thinking talk of the town lately. Pretty much all offseason has been Hendon Hooker. I think he's got the the most to gain from this offseason or I'm sorry, this preseason uh, training camp. He's got a lot of teams that are going to be paying attention. If you guys don't think teams are watching these backup quarterbacks, just in case you never know, if there's an Aaron Rodgers situation, the Detroit Lions could be a team uh, that a lot of teams call if a quarterback goes down. Um, it's a good problem to have. Head and Hooker going into year two. Did not see him at all last year. We kind of anticipated that with his injury, his torn ACL that he had in college. So going into year two, the only time I want to see Hendon Hooker is in this preseason training camp, whatever, um, not real football. But I have a question, kind of a why would Hendon Hooker? Listen, I think Hendon Hooker is great. I, I've chatted him up, and I know you guys, if you've watched our show long enough, you know that I probably sound like a Hendon Hooker hater, but I'm not. But I just think I have more questions than I do answers. Um, when it comes to his game translating from college to the NFL, there is nothing that shows me or nothing that I'm willing to bet my life on that Hendon Hooker will be successful in the NFL yet. Now, I, I love Hendon. I think he was a fantastic player at the University of Tennessee. And I think talking backup quarterbacks is like the most popular thing for the past like 20 years that Detroit Lions fans like to do. We're going to, we, we, we keep talking about Hendon Hooker and, and a guy who's never even played in an NFL snap. Does his game translate to the NFL? Remains to be unseen. I don't know. Can't answer it. I haven't seen it. I don't have anything that says it will. I don't have anything that says it doesn't. We need to see. When will we see? It's going to be this preseason. Um, controlled practices. These uh, practices that the NFL has kind of switched to now where they have a little bit more control. Uh, quarterbacks wearing the red jerseys during uh, these joint practices with other teams. So if they're, they're not getting out there, getting banged up. And then preseason games, it's pretty much a free-for-all. It's, it's kind of real football, but kind of bland play calling. So that's that's the first time I think we're going to see Hennon Hooker is in these joint practices with the uh, – I don't think the Chiefs do joint practices for some reasons. Um, and then the Steelers, I can't remember who else we play in the preseason. Um, but that, that's when I want to see Hennon Hooker hot and heavy. I want to see him in these joint practices running with sometimes the number ones, whoever's going to be playing in the preseason – uh, sometimes the number twos, I want to see how he looks. I want to see how he throws the ball. I want to see how he reads defenses. Um, in college, it was great. You know, it, it's a little different though. This Everyone's fast in the NFL. Corners cover a little bit better. Defensive linemen get to you faster. Um, it's just a different breed. And, and all I've said before is for every player that we thought was going to work in the NFL, I can name 10 players who busted. Um, I'm not going to rattle off names. If you guys watch our show, you've seen the debates, Hendon Hooker, Jared Goff, you've seen it all. Um, I just don't know that his game translates to the NFL. But back on topic, he has the most to prove, the most to gain this off or this preseason. I keep saying offseason. I don't know why. Um, his, his potential is through the roof. So let's just say he, he goes out there and he balls out and he plays phenomenal all in these joint practices and he lights it up in three preseason games. Doesn't matter. He's still going to be sitting on the bench because you're not going to have Jared Goff who's averaging and i know he's not making it per year but averaging 50 million dollars a year in salary you're not going to say hey man we got this guy that's 
you know, lighten it up in preseason. We're going to see you. It's not going to happen. Head and hookers riding the pine, regardless of if he goes out and throws 20 touchdowns in preseason games, he's sitting the bench. It's just, it's just the way business works. You're not going to put your quarterback out there. You just gave $50 million to and say, eh, we're going to go with the, the, the younger kid who's not really that much younger. Um, this is a good problem for Lions fans. Cause like I said, I compared it to the Aaron Rodgers thing. Let's just say something happens with Aaron Rodgers again. Let's just say I'm just using him as an example, even though my hatred for him is he's not a Green Bay Packer no more. I'm just using it as an example because it happened last year. He goes down week one again. Let's just say it happens. Jets are going to want a quarterback. They're not going to want to go through another team like the, uh, another season like they did last year with their team where they're loaded on defense. They got some offensive weapons. Um, they're going to need a quarterback. Why wouldn't you call the Detroit Lions if Hendon Hooker plays well in the preseason? I'm just throwing out a, a scenario. Maybe it's Dak Prescott. You never know. A quarterback will go down. It happens every year. And then the team that they play for is going to scramble and try to salvage their season. Detroit Lions, hey, I got Hendon Hooker over here. He's pretty, pretty good. Now, let me ask you guys this. Let's look at Jared Goff's contract. You guys are familiar with it. Like I said, average. I know it's not yearly, but on average, he's getting 50 some million dollars a year. Uh, that starts in 2025 when the extension begins. So 2025, 26, 27, that fourth year in 2028 is an option. So he's guaranteed to be our quarterback for the next four seasons. It's not a matter of ifs, ands, or buts. It's just the way it is. 2028 is up in the air whether or not the Detroit Lions uh, want to pick up that option. If you look at Hendon Hooker's contract, if you look at this and say – Hendon Hooker is under contract for 2024, 25, 26, unrestricted free agent in 27. So there is a, a gap in when Hendon Hooker and Jared Goff's contracts were Jared Goff's going to be playing in 2027 guaranteed. I just, I just, that's the, the third year of the extension. So if Hendon Hooker plays well at the end of the 2026 season, he can say, adios, see you later, Detroit. Thanks for the time. I'm going somewhere else. If he plays well all preseasons in all three years, I guess we have to live in that world where he plays very well for three preseasons, doesn't get a lot of playing time. Jared Goff stays healthy. The only time you see Hennon Hooker is in preseason games and, and training camp. Why would he stick around and come back to Detroit in a backup role? Why? If I were him, I wouldn't. If, I, if I'm playing well. I'm not going to come in and sit the pine for another year and see what the team wants to do with Jared Goff, who, who could still be playing at a high level. We don't know. That's a question mark. If I'm Hendon Hooker, I play well for three years. When I get my chance, whatever or how much time that is, if it's just preseason or if there's some spot duty in, in some regular season games, maybe Goff, Goff gets banged up and misses a week or two and Hendon comes in and he plays well. Why would I sign a contract to be a backup when I can go to another team and be a starter. You just have to ask yourself, guys. I, I'm not. I'm not the one who gave these contracts out. I just think that it's a little unfair for Hendon Hooker if he's playing very well to sit the pine for one more year to sign a contract and say, "Hey, you know what? I'm 30 years old at this time. I'm okay with being in a career backup." I think the competitor in him in him is going to say, "Man, I could take my talents somewhere else. To I don't know, Indianapolis or." Tennessee, I don't know. I'm just throwing out some teams. I could take my talents down there and play, be a starter instead of playing for the Detroit Lions and being a backup. I could go get some real playing time because I just told you guys the contract. Jared Goff is going to be the quarterback in 2027, regardless. That's the last year of the third year of his extension. The fourth year is the option. It's just a question you got to ask, guys. So at the end of this preseason, we're going to have a better understanding of what Hendon Hooker can do. Um, we're going to see exactly what he can do, what kind of quarterback he is. You just got to ask yourself, why would Hendon Hooker stay if he's playing well? That's all I'm requiring you to do. Just think about it. Look at the contracts. I'm looking and referencing sport spot track. They're usually pretty accurate. Um, this is all public knowledge. These players have public contracts. You can look them all up. You can see when they're restricted free agents, when the teams can opt out. Check out spot track. Look up Hendon Hooker's contract, Jared Goff's, and you can see it for yourselves if you don't believe me. The contracts don't overlap. When Jared Goff, if, if the Detroit Lions decide to move on and not pick up that fifth year or that fourth year option, Hendon Hooker will be gone by then. So what's the options going to be? This is a huge preseason for Hendon Hooker 
the Detroit Lions, do they trade them? What are they going to do? I don't know. This is a tough position for Brad Holmes to be in. I wouldn't, I don't envy it. I don't <laughs> wish to be in that boat. It's a, it's a, it's a decision that a lot of GMs get fired for uh, the, how they handle quarterbacks, how they draft quarterbacks, what they do with them. The, the, the number one way for a GM to get fired is a quarterback or a head coach and probably in that order. So leave it in the comments, guys. Let me know how you feel. If there's a player out there who you think has, more of a preseason riding on their on their future than Hendon Hooker. Leave it in the comments. Let me know. Hit that like button. Stick around. Subscribe. We'll be back later with another show.